Hey, in this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on Slack. Slack is our team communication tool. And if you've never used it before, it has some really nice features for keeping conversations organized, keeping us on topic. Uh, so let's just jump right in and go through it, shall we? Right now, we're looking at the desktop version of Slack. You can also get it on your phone, and it works very similar, just a little more condensed. Um, so first, communication is divided into channels. And the channels are basically categories of topics. So you'll see take action, help me, uh, phone calls, texting, et cetera, et cetera. And when there are new messages in that topic, it will be bolded like this. So it looks like we have a new welcome introduction. Let's go here. Uh, we have a new member who's just joined and I'm gonna go ahead and say hello now instead of saying hello here on the kind of home area of the welcome introductions page uh, I'm gonna click on to what's called the thread so think of each of one of these topics as um, a parent topic and then a thread is going in to discuss that specific post. So here I'm just going to welcome Anna. And you'll see I did an at sign, and that lets me pick from the members' names. Excited to have you here. And I am. All right. And I'm excited to have all of you here because we're doing some epic, epic work. It's going to change the world. So this way, instead of us blasting the, the main screen here, the main topic area with 100 messages responding to Anna, we are keeping that content very condensed by going into the thread. And that's really the most important thing for everyone to know for us to stay organized is to use threads um, certain categories like take action uh, only the admins are allowed to post here you're only allowed to respond in threads so really get that into your head use threads that is our number one request when it comes to slack and that'll help us all stay very organized um, so that's channels. There's also direct messages. So if you want to reach out to someone one-on-one, -on -one, uh, you can reach out to them that way. Um, you can also create small groups. You'll see, uh, Lee, for example, is our database project manager. He's working on a project as I create this video and has requested help. So I have a bunch of different threads with him, connecting him with, uh, other volunteers to get them started and you can create a new thread a, a new message thread by going up here clicking the new message and you can either put it to a channel or at a specific person you know like if i wanted to put lee and melissa into a group together i could do that shoot them over a message uh, as you start to play with this app you'll you'll find it, it's pretty intuitive and it, it comes to you pretty quick next let's talk about threads so you'll see uh threads right now is bolded for me and it'll be bolded when someone else has responded in a thread that i had already posted in so if you're part of a conversation um it won't necessarily light up the channel when someone responds in a thread but your threads notification will light up and you'll get a list of all the different threads that you are part of and you can read the updated responses to those threads. Let's see. Um, we will be moderating channels and we are asking for some uh, channel moderators if that's a skill of yours. Uh, and the reason that we want to moderate is to keep things very very focused you know sometimes people want to share something that's really not relevant to the topic that we're discussing um and 
what we'll do is moderate it. We'll delete it. Let the person know, hey, we moderated your comment and let them know where would be a better place to, to share that idea in the future. Uh, we do have places that are unmoderated and are just for open discussion, like the open discussion room and the respectful debate room. So I think that's a pretty good overview of Slack. If you have any questions, um, oh, one last thing, Slackbot. I don't see where Slackbot is. Occasionally Slackbot, which is like, oh, here he is, will pop up and give you some information, kind of uh, let you know if you've been added to a new group or all sorts of just random stuff. Also, when you're first setting up, uh, Slackbot will probably ask you to set your profile picture to make sure that your profile name is your your name and your state um, and ask you to do an initial intake uh, so we have an inventory or a, a, um, a list of volunteers um, perfect if you have any questions on slack feel free to reach out uh, to me personally peter pentazis or anyone else on the team, we have a help me thread uh, where you can ask questions and get support. Thank you so much and I'll see you on Slack.